In a world where the pursuit of power is an art, where individuals rise and fall like chess pieces on a grand, unforgiving board, two mysterious forces arise. One, a literary masterpiece that has fascinated readers for generations. The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. The other, a character from the depths of anime greatness, Johann Liebert from Monster. In this video, we'll learn about the complicated and dark psychology of power and manipulation as portrayed in the world of Monster. The 48 Laws of Power has gained immense popularity and recognition in various fields, including business, politics, and even popular culture. The book has been studied and applied by entrepreneurs, leaders, and strategists, all seeking to gain an edge in their respective fields. Now let's look at how Johan used this book to his advantage. Law 1. Never outshine the master. This law warns against presenting oneself as superior, more capable or more successful than one's superior or those in positions of authority. The logic behind this law is that it may create resentment and jealousy, potentially leading to unfavorable consequences for those who shine too brightly. In basic terms, it's a warning about the dangers of upsetting the ego and status of those in power. Now, let's see how Johan uses Law 1. Johan is a master of manipulation, and his ability to understand and manipulate the desires and weaknesses of those around him is a defining trait. Johan knows how to mask his true intentions and project an image of charm and vulnerability when necessary. He adapts to different situations with ease, never overtly challenging or outshining his masters. Johan's persona is one of quiet intelligence and charisma. He often remains in the background, carefully manipulating events to his benefit without raising suspicion. His actions align perfectly with the essence of Law 1 as he avoids overt displays of power and superiority. Johan orchestrates the downfall of his masters by weaving a complex narrative of control. He doesn't merely outshine them. Instead, he operates in the shadows, subtly pulling the strings that dictate their actions. He becomes their puppeteer, all the while appearing as a mere observer, a puppet in his own right. In Johann Liebert's world, power is a game of shadows and whispers. He understands that the true essence of power lies not only in one's abilities, but in the mastery of controlling the strings of those who believe they hold the power. Johann is living proof of the saying that, those who appear ignorant are typically the ones with the most power. Law 15. Crush your enemy totally. Law 15 is a harsh and ruthless law from the 48 Laws of Power. This law encourages complete annihilation of one's opponents or rivals. It says that leaving any traces or opportunity for revenge can be risky, since a defeated enemy can someday return. By using this law, you can make sure that your opponent is completely powerless and unable to put up any kind of fight ever. It is clear from analyzing Johann Liebert's character in the context of Law 15 that he frequently acts in a way that is in line with this concept, but in a psychological and manipulative manner. Johann's methods focus on psychological manipulation and the annihilation of his opponent's mental and emotional health rather than physical violence. Johann is a master at breaking down his opponents mentally and emotionally. He uncovers their vulnerabilities, fears, and secrets, using this information to utterly crush them psychologically. In this sense, Johann's actions align with Law 15 because he ensures that his adversaries are not only defeated, but also left mentally broken and incapable of mounting any meaningful resistance. In Monster, there are several instances where Johann Liebert's actions align with Law 15. One notable example is his manipulation of characters like Roberto and Martin. Johann skillfully exploits their weaknesses and fears, turning them into loyal followers who are completely obedient to his will. By doing so, he crushes their sense of self and autonomy, rendering them powerless in the face of his influence. Law 27. Play on people's need to believe to create a cult-like following. This law explores the powerful human tendency to seek something to believe in and follow blindly. This law says that one might create a loyal following by playing to people's desire for a cause or person to stand behind. It's a law that exposes the deeply rooted desire in people to be part of something extraordinary, to surrender themselves to a charismatic leader who promises them purpose and salvation. 
Johan is a prime example of someone who masterfully leverages Law 27 to create a cult-like following. Johan possesses a mesmerizing charisma that draws people towards him, making them believe in him as if he were a mystical, almost godlike figure. He manipulates their deepest desires and fears, capitalizing on their need to believe in something greater than themselves. Johan's ability to create a sense of purpose and belonging is remarkable. He convinces individuals that they are part of something special, something beyond the ordinary. He orchestrates events and presents himself as a savior or a symbol of change, exploiting the vulnerabilities of his followers. In doing so, he effectively molds them into loyal devotees who are willing to go to extreme lengths to fulfill his wishes. Johann's influence extends to a neo-Nazi faction in the series. He manipulates their beliefs, convincing them that he can lead them to a new world order. They become fanatically devoted to him, willing to commit acts of violence in his name. Law 33. Discover each man's thumbscrew. This principle focuses on identifying and exploiting an individual's vulnerabilities, fears, or weaknesses. It recognizes that everyone has a thumbscrew, a vulnerability that can be exploited to exert influence, control, or manipulation. Johan has an extraordinary understanding of human psychology, allowing him to identify people's deepest fears, insecurities, and desires. He uses his knowledge to gain an upper hand in various situations. For example, Johan can identify a person's greatest fear and subtly manipulate circumstances to make that fear a reality, thereby controlling their actions and decisions. He uses this technique to maintain psychological dominance over his adversaries and followers alike. Johan capitalizes on Dr. Tenma's guilt and sense of responsibility for saving him as a child. He manipulates Tenma into becoming his unwitting protector, knowing that Tenma's guilt is a powerful thumbscrew that he can turn to his advantage. Law 48. Assume formlessness. This principle advocates the ability to adapt to ever-changing circumstances and remain unpredictable. This law encourages individuals to avoid rigid patterns or fixed behaviors that can make them vulnerable. Instead, it suggests that embracing fluidity and the capacity to transform as needed is essential for wielding power effectively. Johan is a perfect example of the power of assuming formlessness. His extraordinary ability to adapt to many situations and personas adds significantly to his terrifying power. Johan is a chameleon, seamlessly shifting between identities, emotions, and motivations to suit his goals. Johan's adaptability allows him to navigate the complex and dangerous world with ease. Whether he needs to play the role of a charming stranger, a vulnerable victim, or a sinister mastermind, he does so with remarkable skill. This adaptability keeps those around him off balance and uncertain making it nearly impossible to anticipate his next move. The lesson Johan teaches us through his embodiment of Law 48 is clear. Adaptability is a potent tool in the pursuit of power. The ability to change and mold oneself to fit various circumstances allows one to stay one step ahead of the competition, just as Johan does. However, it also serves as a stark reminder that adaptability, when used without moral restraint, can become a dangerous weapon in the hands of those who seek to manipulate and dominate. Now before we end the video, remember, while these principles can offer invaluable insights, they come with a word of caution. Power, when wielded unwisely, can have dire consequences. So tread carefully, apply this knowledge wisely, and always keep in mind that with great power comes great responsibility. And if you're interested in the depths of human psychology and the world of power dynamics, don't forget to check out The 48 Laws of Power and Monster. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us. Thanks for watching. Until next time.